wasn't working. Yeah, when comrades good for that. Warrior is good. That's where I came from. This is the direction we're going. That thing came around the corner so fast. you for snapping him that didn't snap her out of it okay you really you really pissing me off I'm using a remedy on her now What is going on in the story or in the fight? So in the story, we don't know why, but the Guado, <clears throat> the weird, like, uh, tree-esque people that uh, Seymour's race is, 
They're attacking the Albed. Farewell. The Guado is supposed to be like people of Yevon. We don't know why they're doing it, they're just doing it. There's loot somewhere. Yeah, this is when Walk is gonna have to learn that, like, you know, his religion isn't perfect. That they aren't 100% good guys in the name of Yevon. Yes, this way. We'll be there soon, Uni. There's treasure in here, and I want it. I will not be denied. I'm pulling out all the stops. <laughs> That's your crazy theory. The desired chest of dreams. Ask, what do I contain? Enter the password in proper L bed. Sorry? This. Wait. Pardon? No, 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 go back. I mean, your crazy theory of them, Yevon and Sin having a connection, I mean, yeah. I mean, everything's connected in the story in one way or another. But if, like, if you're asking if Yevon is Sin, no. You can go crazy with your theory all you want. You're one of the people... We play the Final Fantasy games for people who have never experienced it before. So the people who have played it before, I ask that those people don't spoil it for the newbies. But the newbies, you don't know anything. Go nuts. Have fun. 
Alright, everybody beating up on Orin. Needs to calm down. His <laughs> sin is Yevon's pet. Okay. Part of this, I don't... I, honestly, I don't remember. I remember the big twist. I remember, like, the big, like, Oh, shit, really? At the end of the game. A lot of the finer details, I'm gonna have to play this to remember. <clears throat> Big plot twist at the end of the game, like, fucking Final Fantasy's notorious for it. But not like they cheat. It's a plot twist you never could have seen coming because they never alluded to it, they never gave you the information. It happens until the very last second. Like, in some of the very beginning Final Fantasies, like, I think it's one, it's like, Here's Evil King, and here's the heroes. We're chasing the Evil King because he's going to destroy the planet. We're chasing, we're chasing, we're chasing, we're chasing. And then we kill the Evil King, and then, like, dark evil gods, like, ha, 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 he was my pawn, and I was using him to do all this stuff. And you're like, oh, well, like, there's no way you could have known that this evil god was puppeteering the king because they never brought him up at all. There's no point in the story you could be like, oh, dude, I bet that god that we heard about was manipulating him. Like, they don't ever talk about the twist. And then the twist happens. They did it in 9, too. Like, the big... I still don't even know the true ending to 9. And we just played it. I remember all the, like, sci-fi, you know, Zidane's an alien and his brother and his dad, that whole thing. I remember all that. But I can't remember the big, big bad end guy. See, that's a cool way to have a twist. Like, oh shit. Okay, so. We gotta reset. I went through a door that I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, you know, like, one of the best twists that I ever saw was the bad wolf twist in, uh, Doctor Who. And it's because, like, the entire season, like, they drop tiny little hints to it, and then... Boom, they hit it, and then they show you all the little hints at the end. You're just like, oh, fuck. And it wasn't things that you missed. Like, you saw it. You saw all of the little hints, and you still didn't realize it. It was well done.
farewell. Booyah. Oh, there's a primer right there. No, not that way. All right, we're getting our asses kicked. Pussies let Orin have a turn. You guys are just big wusses. You're afraid of what Orin can do to you. So, I've looked it up multiple times, but I just don't remember right now. The Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X on Wii U, and then Xenoblade Chronicles X2 on the Switch? They're like direct sequels, because like Xenoblade Chronicles X that they put on the Wii U, like is in the Xenoblade world, but it wasn't like a direct sequel, but it was, like it, it was, but it wasn't. Like, you didn't need to play the previous Xenoblades to know anything about that Wii U one. There's no X2, so that's Chronicles 2 that's on the Switch. What's the name of the one that they just put on the Switch? Okay, the first digit is four plus one. The second digit is seven minus one. The third digit is three times one. The fourth digit is two plus one. Albed verification. Are you an Albed? Yes. Name the son of the Albed leader. I don't know that information. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I figured it was brother. And here, since I got it pulled up here, let me take a look at it. So there, yeah, because see, this is what I was talking about. There's Xeno Gears, Xeno Saga. It's called the Xeno series. The whole series is the Xeno series. That's right. Xenoblade Chronicles was a Wii game. And, but in 2020, they're re-releasing it for the Switch. So I'll wait for that. Is that Wii game? Xenoblade Chronicles is so hard to track down. It's expensive, too. That's what Xenoblade Chronicles The Definitive Edition is. So then Chronicles 2 that they put on the Switch. What? That was good. You picked the empty? I love the line. I do, too. On what island do the Albed live? What is Albed in Albed? It is Albed. We almost have the entire Albed language, like, solved. Well, just fuck it. Yeah, once they get that uh, Definitive Edition out later this year, I think we'll actually sit down and play through that series as well. That's a series I've been interested in a long time, but, like, it's hard to play. You gotta, you gotta dedicate some time to it. You gotta just decide, I'm sitting down and I am committed to this game until I have it beaten. <clears throat> Well, at least, at least that's the case for me. I feel like it's one of those games. I also put like a ton of time into trying to figure out Chronicles X, and I just like the game just threw like it, after you get through the like the first tutorial, and then there's like a secondary tutorial. When you get to that first one, it just vomits so much information on me. I had no idea how to play the game anymore. I, I just I was like, okay, like I'm out. It was just, it was too much. They're like, this is like an MMO, but it's not. And and then you go out into the world and everything's either super, super weak. Or everything is way too hard for you to beat. And I'm just like... I'm clearly missing like a whole element of how this game works.
Xenoblade Chronicles 2 takes a while to get good, but it's great. Yeah, I heard a lot of really good things about it. People really like that game. Now let's go up this way. Currently, the Golden Country is part of the DLC for two. It takes place 500 years before the events in the main game. Now we're going to save. Alright, so I need to do an Albed Primer check. Alright, yeah, it's got me up to... 21. That's good. 21 out of 26, so it means there's only five more primers left in the game. <clears throat> All right. This place done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. We all bed. We... We weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the all bed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again, but now, why did things have to turn out this way? Riku. Thanos, Guado, what are they thinking? Silenced? Not what I wanted it to do. 
Ugh. Attack takes forever to animate. Drives me up a wall. Do we have any release date on that definitive edition, or do they just say sometime in 2020? What I figured. Well, we'll definitely plan on doing that. Um... Also, we're gonna be grabbing, um, not that it actually matters because it has crossplay, but we're gonna be getting uh, Crystal Chronicles for the Switch. <clears throat> and that should be a lot of fun. I really hope that like everybody in the community, well, it was supposed to already be out and then got pushed back. I don't know how much it's going to be. I don't see it being more than full price. I, I would be surprised if it was full price. But I totally want to get, like, a group of four together to sit down and play Crystal Chronicles. <laughs> There's Sleep Buster. Yeah. Immune to sleep. Summoner's Sanctum. The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. <laughs> I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnapped them? I mean, if the Summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But Guardians are there for that. If Guardians do their job well, Summoners will be safe. Right? Right? It's quiet. Kimari goes now.
She's not here. Hello again. Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. Hey, um, what sacrificed? They all bet that summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkin, they might defeat Sin. Yuni could... But then she... Yuni will die, you know? You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Yuni too, you know? Was I the only one who didn't know? Tell me why! Why were you hiding it? Why didn't I know? We weren't hiding it. It was just too hard to say. Tried to stop her? She follows her heart. You know, she knew what she was doing when she chose to become a summoner. To face sin, yeah? You know, knew. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves just so the rest of spirit can be happy, right? This motherfucker again? That is our choice. We all live in fear of sin, you know that. A world without sin. That is the dream of all Yevon's children. And we will use that power even if it means our lives. You got pretty good. 
You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm hmm. I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know? <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. I want my journey to be full of laughter. I can't let her die. I'll find her. <clears throat> I'm glad they at least didn't play the audio file for the laugh. A sweet reprieve. There's that chest. Alright, so there's the big... One of the big reveals of the game is that, uh... For a summoner to defeat Sin, they have to sacrifice themselves. The final Aeon will kill the summoner. I said, where is she? Answer me. Answer me, damn you! What do you do when you find her, eh? I... I, I didn't know anything about what a summoner is... is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry. That's it? You're going to tell her you're sorry? And then you just drag her to Xanarkand and make her fight Sheen, huh? You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace. No! Ah, words. Show me action. I'm telling you, she won't die. Boy, don't forget those words. Because if you do, I'm going to make you regret it. I won't. So you know where she is? Of course not. That's why we're going to look. Using this airship. Airship? They done. They told the coup. 
Shoemaker 1,000 years, Ujantia! Yeah! Here it comes! Forbidden Machina. They don't. Mira! Hey, look. Don't get so down. Boom! <laughs> like happy festival fireworks, yeah? You can cram your happy festival, you big meanie. And we got an airship, boys! Ugh. Best part of every Final Fantasy game, getting your airship. Make your supper! It's blue right, Nidek! Leaving bees concentrating. Bed Sykes all escaped harm. We are ready to play again. Well, of course, the Blitzball team made it out. I think it's this guy.
Okay, there, one of the Albed Sykes is a very good Blitzball player, and I forget which one it is, but you gotta... You gotta snipe him. Rin's really good. Nine thousand nine hundred gil. I don't know to have him for a hundred games. That wouldn't actually be that bad. See how big the ship is. The ship's huge. But we say lose something precious, find something even more precious. What will I do? My doll, I left it in home. Aww. Your face, I have seen it before, perhaps in the temple of Baj? I gotta say, this is the first time that I've actually played through Final Fantasy X and, like, got all the primers, so, like, understanding. Look, I'm really tired. Leave me. Understand what everybody's if it's saying. It's not an emergency. Would you mind leaving? <sighs> okay. Wait. Uh, there's something I want to ask you. God damn it, Donna. What would you think if I said I I was giving up my pilgrimage? Good. Unusual. Most people would never forgive a summoner who quit. Why is that? Behind my back, they would say I was abandoning my duty. So, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Easy for you to say. But, uh, you do have a point. Maybe Bartello and I should go someplace far away. No time for tears and shouting. All we must do is rebuild our home. Years of sweat and toil to build it, and now home is rubble. It's so cool. Like it's it's not any text that like you have to understand to be able to enjoy the game, but it adds so much more character, especially Sid. Like. Oh, our life. However, no matter how they beg, we cannot quit our pilgrimage. Even though you'll die? I've known since I was a child. If I do not do it, someone else must, you understand. Kimari never forget the Albert sacrifice. See how that line was like sped up? So odd, dude. After rescuing Yuna, then what? You want to keep her safe, correct? Would you seek to stop her pilgrimage? Of course! If she continues this fool pilgrimage, she will die. Sure as if you killed her yourself. No harebrained law or teaching could send my little niece to her death. When I save her, I'll make her give up being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. Even against her will? Better than a dog's death. And I'll take down anyone who don't agree. You are the captain. Good, then it's settled. So, niece, that 
settles it. The woman that Braska had a kid with was Sid's sister. No matter what happens, Yuna won't give up her pilgrimage. He called Yuna his uh, niece, right? I mean, so that makes her our bed, right? Don't say it. Yuna's <laughs> Yuna, right? Like Yuni Achan Bem Kuneshka? Show him what we got. Let him say what he wants. Right, how the fuck do we get out of here? First, we rescue Yuna. Appears you too have escaped harm. You were on the ship too? I came to home to pick up some goods and found myself here. Quite the escape. <sighs> Thankfully, my goods were spared. Please let me know if you need any of my wares. Thank you. All proceeds. Ah, how is your progress? None too shabby. Check this out. Hella do sadwi. Just repeating what I've said is not talking now. But your pronunciation's quite passable. You've been studying, I see. May I help? All right, let's stock up. Take this to 50. That was a lot of money. I didn't anticipate that. Whoops. <laughs> I think Rin was the linchpin, he was the trigger. Now that I've talked to him. Save one more time. Vidran! For Fort Yuna! Frana! Efim Krufui! He's found Yuna? Yuna! He will show us. of St. Bavel, heart of Yevon. Gramps, let's move! Easy, kiddo. Bavel's defenses are top-notch. 
What's the matter, Gramps? Are you scared? Yuna's there, so we go and get her! And that's all! <laughs> you got guts? God, we can do my well! Team, how about it? it? Look! It'll take a while to get to Pavel. Meanwhile, we prepare for battle. Time to prepare for battle. Stone proof stone ward. Poison proof poison ward. There's two things that we're specifically looking for right now. I don't think we have. Well, there's Poison Ward. Um, 30 softs, 30 antidotes. So that's both stone and poison ward. Wow, that's really expensive. Guado that attacked home must have snuck on board. You're awfully calm about it. I am calm about most things. Beans, there's nothing to do but... But destroy the ship and all go down together. Huh? Hmm. You gotta learn a little restraint, Pops. If you crash the ship, we can't go rescue Uni. Leave the fiends to us professionals. Yeah, let's go! Thanks! Riku, you've made some very good friends, I think. Good luck. Okay. Alright, now that we're in here... Did, did I show did I show this to you? No? Did I did, did I show did I show this to you? Did you, did you know? Did I, did I got this? Just I don't know if I brought it up or not. Nah, I was joking. I was joking.
It's actually got a pretty cool insert that I didn't know <coughs> was uh, in it. I am just pissed. That's eh, all right. Give me a chance to steal some stuff. It's all. No, it's not the normal case. It's the steel book. But um, there's a really cool like insert that I didn't know came with the steel book. And it's got like the story and then some artwork, but it's like a high gloss material. And it's got all the different little, I don't know, like concept art. Yeah, it's the steel book, and then it has the, the plastic sleeve that goes over it. And what's nice is I don't have to worry about, like, um, destroying the disc, because I think I own it digitally on the Wii U. Don't worry. May I help you? Thank you. You're... And now this shit real. <laughs> I mean, I've been able to, like, I've had access to the plastic one, like the normal version of the game for so long, but my ass was really chat because I was working at a GameStop when that launched, and we just had, they weren't moving, nobody was buying it, nobody was interested in re-releases of games back then, like, HD remakes and stuff like that was, like, super... I mean, they weren't calling them HD remakes, but, like, re-releases of games was very unpopular. Like, people hated the concept of it back then. So, it wasn't moving. It didn't come off the shelves at all, and we just had tons and tons and tons of the steelbooks behind the counter. So, I just thought, I'm always going to be able to come across this, and it's always going to be cheap. How wrong I was about that. <clears throat> I'm glad to finally put it to bed. Yeah, Steelbook was, like, the version to have. And since we have, like, the digital version, we don't have to worry too much about... Welcome. Like, destroying those discs or anything. That... that disc. Thank you. Your patronage is very much... Like, I've always known that I liked Metroid games. We'll leave the other. Like I, I always knew that I was a fan of Metroid, but it's too cramped. I'll leave this fight to you. Um, but I never had the time to sit down and play it. I've played, I've done like a quarter of of Super. Um, and then I've done, I've done none of one and two. I've done like a quarter of Super Metroid, and then I've played, I've almost gotten off the first planet in, uh, Prime. And I didn't even play Prime 2 or Prime 3.
but I know that I'm probably a pretty avid Metroid fan. Everything about it, I love. And I'm a big Castlevania fan, so... No, like... No, there's there's this... You get off the planet. Because it's the tutorial. <laughs> I, I didn't even get done, like, with the tutorial planet. Because you go and you get your ship fixed, and then you get off the planet with your ship. I didn't even... Yeah, I didn't even get the ship to take off. And then you chase after Ridley and all that shit. This is a battle most dangerous. Take this. Oh, I'll bed potions. Fuck yeah. Do the Yevin. What is the word that it's doing there? Do, do, do the Yevin worms. Huh. Now there's a rare sight. Whoa, that's huge! What is that? The guardian worm, Evray. The great sacred beast, protector of Bavel. The red carpet has teeth. Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me! We're gonna fight that thing! Get on deck and show him what you got! Go! There he goes again! The ferryman asks a high price. Fight. Evray is truly mighty. Be well prepared. Mm. We got a pair. If we lose, you'll die too, buddy. I have faith in your victory. Gee, thanks. That's pretty funny. Let's go save, because this fight is kind of incredibly hard. the airship use the trigger commands move in and pull back to adjust the distance between the airship and every only titus and riku can give these orders 
Give an order and Sid will move the airship on its next turn to cancel an order. Use the cancel command before Sid takes his turn. And if you look on the right up there, you can see uh, you can see that Sid's got his own little portrait in the uh, turn order there. All right, first things a first. Let's throw cheer on the party. Now for Waka. Now, let's armor break. <laughs> now, I'm trying to think. Oh, I wanted to do haste and slow. Fucked up that. Alright, so we can definitely dark Evray. Of all people, come on. I assume that means it's mad, so let's pull back. Go back! Farther away! Just a minute! Don't be fallen now! Well, let, let's pull in Kamari and see if there's a... He halves everything. Ugh. Can I bio it? Immune to silence. This is it. I'm hitting it with all we got. So can't silence it. We can't darken it though. All right, now it's time for us to move back in. Closer, go closer. Just a minute. Oh, we're out of range for that? <laughs> <clears throat> so 
switch back to Brotherhood. Let's do the elemental reels. Alright, so the haste and the slow have cancelled each other out. The only person he's stoning is the one person that can actually be stoned, which is stupid. I mean, it's really smart of him, but... I hate it, Precious. in trouble. We can't pull out in time. It's getting two turns. Interesting. Okay, so now we need to pull out. Sid doesn't take a turn in forever. Come on. Overkill. All right. Hold. My name is Kip Bufan. A cup of hell. Whoops. Forgot to put Kamari in the fight.
Luna! All right, we're out of here. Um, oh, maybe not. That hurt. You die. Okay, let's use some high potions on Kamari. Does mug work? I don't think it does. I think you actually have to do steel. Here we go, nice and topped off. We'll do it a second time even. I want to give Kamari the kill. Or I guess it'll go to Lulu.
Get them all healed up. Come on, really? This thing doesn't fall any of like the Machina rules. You know, we really need you back. So, water and fire. Interesting. It's immune to that, okay. This has gone far enough. I missed a overdrive for Kamari. Play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. <laughs> Stop! 
Do you not value your friends' lives? Your actions determine their fate. Protect them, or throw them away. The choice is yours. I am sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. No! Throw down your weapons. Let them go, or else. Leave now, please. You're coming with us! Don't worry, go! This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Believe. Was that? An all bed flash bomb! Let me go! I'm gonna kill that Seymour! Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Break through! Ah. Ah. Where'd Uni go? The Bell Palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The Chamber of the Faith! It's too quiet. A trap? 
Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us. Huh? What's a machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I mean. The teachings. What about the teachings? Hey, don't look at me. The teachings don't matter, Waka. Why'd they show that save sphere back there if I can't? Another Machina? Man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. <sighs> they treated us like dirt. It's like they want to have all the Machina and nobody else to have, have it so that they could have an upper hand. You know. Like the religions the do. Trials. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Let's go and see. Let's go. Went right through Kamari. All right, we're actually gonna save right here and call it an episode. Um, I'm I'm a little mad that I missed that uh, overdrive. I really wish this guide would like lead off at the very top of the page and say there's an overdrive to grab in this section. And then like, now let me miss it. I'm pretty sure I can run into the enemy that I get it from later in the game. So I, I think we can double back for it if we need to. But um, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode of Final Fantasy Challenge. Uh, we got a good like eight nine hours of it in today. So that was real cool um, We'll be back Tuesday for sure um, What are we gonna be back with on Tuesday? Maybe we'll be back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We'll see but for those of you that are watching the episodes in the future Thank you so much for watching and uh, come join us live at twitch TV Twitch.tv forward slash Ziggurai and then for those of you that are here live. Thank you as always